Okay, good day. I had a question about uh, pulling a slab and so forth and uh, to make a pond. And this is a method that I've developed, uh, I don't know, back in, I guess, version 8 of Chief Architect Premier. <laughs> and it's, it still works. Basically what you do, uh, let's see, yeah, we'll go over here and build a slab. All right. I'm in Pro 2012. Build a slab in the left click and drag. There's a slab. I guess we'll also put our terrain, terrain in. Uh, create terrain perimeter. All right, that's fine. Now we'll take a look at that. I'm pretty sure you know all know what this looks like. Yeah, looks like a slab on top of a terrain plane. I'm going to leave this camera open so we can kind of watch this develop. Now, <clears throat> let's see. I'm assuming uh, Pro works something like uh, Chief Vermeer. We'll use this oval tool, and I'm going to see if I can convert this. Oh, well, good, I can. In older versions, you couldn't convert an oval. We'll convert that to a slab. All right, and um, what I want it to be, uh-oh. Um, the command I was looking for is missing. In uh, Premiere, I know you hate Lou and I talking about Premiere all the time, but, you know, it's what we use every day. There's a, there would be a check mark here for hole in, hole in slab, and it's not here. So, okay, that's not going to serve my purpose. Because, um, well, I'll put it over there, you can see. And uh, we'll change the material. What I was going to do is cut a hole in the slab, and then, but since there's no hole in the slab command, I can't do that. <coughs> anyway, <clears throat> I tell <laughs> these uh, uh, tutorials I make are often uh, extemporaneous, without prior practice and so forth. I, and I don't use pro, pro all the time, all the time. Let's see what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, landscaping. Make it some water, as the British say, water. Uh, that's fine. Swim, swim, swimming pool water. Now, with these two uh, on top of each other, see, you can't see one from the other because uh, this one's inside the other one. <clears throat> So let's, uh, that's a four inch slab, so let's uh, make the elevation here four inches. And then maybe a little up here. No. Uh, elevation at top, uh, eight inches. How about that? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm swinging, but I'm not hit, not connecting. Let's raise the height to 12 inches. I just want to see the stupid thing. Okay, it's just now very breaking breaking the surface make that 18 inches so it's well out of the con other concrete slab okay you know <clears throat> it looks like water that's sitting on top of a concrete slab not exactly ideal anyway i'm going to move that delete that try another tack uh so yeah build that's where i got that slab slab i'm going to draw a slab see in chief, chief premier you can draw a slab on top of a slab and then make the second slab a hole in the slab. And I don't see that, that, that command in here. Okay, well, I've just about wasted my time chasing this. How can we do this? Let me unconvert that from a 3D object and see what my options are. We've got slab with footing, landing. Well, gee whiz. In Chief Premier, I could uh, <clears throat> convert this to a hole in the floor, a hole in the ceiling, a skylight. But your uh, choices in Pro are quite a bit more limited. I guess the way... Uh, all right. Now, this is the way I would do it back in Chief Architect version 6. Back in 1999, I just remembered this. Uh, we'll take this and convert it to a slab. All right. And uh, I'm going to put the water material. It sh should be still a plan material. Get the W key. Yeah, okay. 
<clears throat> not really concerned with the dimensions. Now we'll take this slab here and, and I'm going to using the break line tool. Some of you will be some of you more quick minded people will, will see where I'm going with this. I'm just going to shape my slab around the other slab since I can't cut a hole in it. Then we'll cut. We'll go around it. I'm making breaks. I want this to snap at this end. And then uh, there's always a way to get something done if you're intent on getting it done. Okay, the water, my water's a little low, but you see now I've got a quote hole unquote in my slab. We'll take this center one, hit the next key. There we go. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to make this water a bit thicker. And uh, I can open the dialog box on the uh, on this slab and find out its its height. And but I'm just going to wing it. Make it 12 inches and uh, 60 inches deep. Control tab back. Oh, okay. Bingo. Yeah, uh, since we don't have a hole in the slab tool, then uh, see there's our water. It's at the same height as the other. Let me lower it a little bit. Uh, I'll make it um, eight inches. So it should be I'd make it four inches lower than the slab. So that's basically what I had in mind. But I, I was thinking about a hole in the slab tool. But you can also just wrap a slab around another slab and, and get the same thing done. And um, there may be another way to do this. I suppose you could use a, a soffit instead of a slab, but in Pro there's no point in it because um, soffits are kind of uh, particularly programmed. And I've found that two-dimensional objects that you convert to 3D objects tend to be a little bit easier to work with because they'll stay put. They won't have a tendency to snap to other things that you might not want them to. Now you can get quite fancy on this. We could put another slab in here and wrap it around the edges for coping and make a, a swimming pool. These edges could be curved. Uh, any kind of variations that you need or want or can think of, you can do uh, using the tools that you have at hand. So that's the end of the tutorial. It's, it's kind of straightforward and just on this particular, to this particular question. And I hope it helps not only old timer, but uh, anyone else who's interested. Thank you.